Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. So I picked up these plants from the garden center and I thought they were just so beautiful. Now I thought they looked really nice planted in these three containers that I purchased from Lowe's. Now I already had the large one. I planted in that one a couple of times last year and I was really excited to see that Lowe's carries this container in three different sizes. So I picked up the medium and small one just the other day. So now I have three that look the same and I think that's really nice to give it a nice color cohesive look instead of having different flower pots that can make the arrangement kind of look really busy. So that is the plan today. Plant these gorgeous plants in those three containers. So what do I have here for you? The first plant is rosemary and I just love the look and texture, the color of rosemary. It's beautiful upright growth of the foliage and it is an herb so you can kind of snip some off use it to cook with in your kitchen as a spice and it does grow pretty large but you can keep it prune down now it does love to grow in full sun and if you grow it in full sun it will produce little flowers that should bloom for you mid-season the bees love it and you can plant it in a shadier location but it does prefer full sun now it is a pretty cold hardy plant hardiness zone six here in kentucky i'm a zone six so hoping it will survive my winter and come back for me as a perennial in my area so the next plant I have here is called Dusty Miller. This one's called Silver Dust, and I purchased it in a four pack. Now it grows eight to 12 inches tall. You want to plant it in sun, but it can also take a part sun situation. I love the silver white foliage. It kind of looks a little furry, reminds me of a lamb's ear kind of texture. Now this, it doesn't say on the tag, but it usually is a tender perennial, mostly grown as an annual. So in the end of the season, most will just kind of toss it out. I don't see a hardiness zone listed, but they can usually take pretty cold temperatures, but may not survive the winter so the next plant I have here guys oh my goodness look at this beautiful plant this hookah also known as coral bells it's one of my favorites I love this one it's called red lightning you can see why that red veining on the foliage with the beautiful kind of yellow gold lime looking leaf color so this one can take sun to part shade it grows 8 inches to 11 inches the width 14 to 16 inches now perennials you can see the price a little more pricey than an annual plant but this one will grow for you again and again come back year after year so I don't feel so bad when I can enjoy a plant for a long time you can see that new growth growing up from the base of the plant so last but not least this gorgeous sedum I just love it love it love it this one I love the color it's kind of that gray blue green so beautiful this one does bloom or flower in the fall now it grows about 6 to 10 inches tall 12 to 18 inches wide it likes sun to part shade hardy to zone five through nine so i just love it this one is called october daphne stone crop and again a little pricey but they are a perennial and you'll be able to enjoy it year after year and guys if you're wondering about the other sedum that i planted last year in a hanging basket it is doing a fantastic and it is putting on so much growth i can't even believe it um so here's a quick little picture and so now back to the project let's get these plants planted so I'm going to plant up the smallest container first and compared to the size of my hand it's about seven inches across the top. Now I did go ahead and fill it full of a potting mix, an organic miracle Grow potting mix and this already has some plant food incorporated so I'm not going to add any more to it. Now this one I'm going to put the rosemary in the center and then I want to just kind of add the Dusty Miller around the edges.
after the first container is completed, I think it looks really good. Now on to the next container. So the next container you can see is the middle size container. Now I could plant the sedum, but I think I'm going to go with planting the hookera instead. I think just because it has less growth right now, it'll look really funny, uh, the hookera being small but in the largest container. So I'm going to go with this one. So second one all planted up and is looking good a little bit dirty but no worries so I'm happy with it now on to the last and final container so the third container the largest container and it's a little dirty so I will have to wipe all of the containers down when I'm finished now I want to plant the sedum in this one right in the center I'll just push back the soil in this container to make room for the root ball now as some of these root balls have a lot of soil on them already in their nursery pots it's okay to remove some of that soil just be gentle but it doesn't hurt it one bit to remove some of the soil so that the roots can fit in this container better Here they are all planted up. Just look at these beauties. I think they look gorgeous. So these plants, I think they all look really great together, even though they are, you know, very different. I think that choosing matching containers, I'm just really glad that I did because I think it takes your focus to the plants. You really notice the plants, not so much the containers. So I'm really happy with that choice. Now, all of these plants are a perennial type of plant or can take the colder temperatures of early spring and fall. So these containers should look good all season long and it's kind of a bonus that some may come back the next year and all of these should be very low maintenance and easy to care for just kind of water them and let them grow and uh, these should start to fill in especially the hookera you know it should fill in pretty quickly and really cover that soil so you're not seeing that soil showing um, and look really good so I hope to give you an update later on in the season when these are looking fantastic and have filled in some so make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any update videos or future videos that I put out and guys you can go to my channel and click the notifications to be notified when I release a new video so you don't miss that and you can also follow me on Instagram as well as Pinterest so guys I hope you're having a very wonderful day and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.